Today we have 90 kids coming out for the first green program from Spring Garden Elementary School. Uh, we're going to teach them all about STEM education and how golf course superintendents uh, use STEM every day for their job. What we're going to do, we're going to break up into five stations. We're going to teach you about the 411 of golf, teach you about water conservation, how we conserve water on golf courses, and how we keep the grass alive. Spring Garden has actually come here for the past three years with their fifth graders. These are all the tools that we're going to go over today. Does anybody recognize this, have any idea what this is? We're going to rotate through five stations and show kids the math and technical sides of running a golf course that probably no one is aware of. We got several different uh, sample areas set up, uh, different square footage, and we teach them how golf course superintendents need to be spot on with math calculations to figure out how much seed, uh, fertilizer, proper amount of nutrients, etc., that we need to use on the golf course. Is that your yards or is that your feet? Mm -hmm. Sure about that? Math doesn't sound right. So they are using the First Green worksheet, allfirstgreen.org. Uh, so we've been kind of using those worksheets to tailor our program and what fits with the school's curriculum. If you see the plugs of grass up here, they're, they're different colors, and some of them are brown, and some of them are green. Does anybody know why that might be? First Green started back in uh, 1997 out in Washington State. They had several First Green field trips at the GIS. Uh, that's how I got started in the program. And a year and a half ago, GCSA took over the First Green program. It's kind of getting it good nationwide. So there's a lot of sand in there, isn't there? Yeah. yeah. They put all the stations together, so um, it's such an easy trip for us. We just bring our kids and um, they take over. <laughs> Why are you marking the balls up? Because so we don't get mixed up with others and our think are pretty special. You're going to find your two golf balls that you marked, okay? You have a pencil in there, you're going to record the number of feet from the trundle wheel. When we get back, we'll convert that to yards. It's invaluable because here, it's a real world opportunity for them to see what it's really like to be out in the workforce and maintain a golf course. And um, they can hear that knowledge from the professionals themselves. We've been struggling to find summer help for golf courses. Granted, these are fifth graders coming out, but if we can get them out here in fifth grade, maybe a 10th grade program, start handing kids business cards, get them interested in turf. Uh, maybe we can spark their interest in enrolling in like University of Maryland for a turf grass management program. So what we used to do is we used to just push it down into the ground and we get a soil profile, okay? Now you can see Ryan's doing a pretty good job of growing some healthy turf grass around here. What do you think that thing is hanging at the very bottom? That's the roots. Kids learn more from getting, feeling and doing things than they will a week in a classroom. This piece of technology allows me to know for sure whether or not that's dry under there or not. Anything hands-on in real life is uh, so much more valuable and, and, a, and a takeaway. And when you talk to kids and ask them a year later, you know, about something they did, being there, you know, in person just adds a tremendous value to it. 16, okay. Wow. That's low. Low is at 14. This is a great day. You know, I look forward to it. The, the kids I know are looking forward to it. And really, it's just taking the classroom outside and bringing some unique individuals that have expertise to share with them. So it, it is fun, but you know, it's, they're, they're gonna learn more than they're ever gonna realize. We're not doing this from a standpoint of just getting help, but we also um, need to get kids involved in the game of golf. So if we can spark their interest even just to come take up the game of golf, get interested in golf, it's a win-win.